the topics related to valency bond theory and crystal field theory so these two theories helps us to promote an idea how the coordination complexes results when a central metal atom or the transition metals when combines with ligands those ligands may be neutral species or negatively charged ion so some advantages limitations we come across regarding crystal field theory and valency bond theory after this let us move to explain the topics related to coordination compounds that is bonding in metal carbonyls so we have to learn that metal carbonyls are metal carbonyls are resulting from resulting from various types of various types of transition metals transition metals so first we have to know what are metal carbonyls and what is the difference between coordination compounds and metal carbonyls remember metal carbonyls are coordination compounds only but only they are made up of or they are consist of carbonyls as ligands only carbonyls are connected to central metal atom via a coordination covalent bond so such resulting coordination compounds are called as metal carbonyls here these metal carbonyls the structure they exhibit they exhibit simple and desired structure so let us have few examples for these metal carbonyls i would like to consider co taken 4 the name of the compound is tetra carbonyl nickel 2 plus complex or nickel 2 complex here it exhibit tetrahedral geometry tetrahedral geometry in which nickel is connected with four carbon monoxides via coordination covalent bond in tetrahedral manner similarly let us consider one more iron complex in which five carbon monoxide or carbonyl species connected to iron atom via coordination covalent bond here this compound will exhibit trigonal bipyramidal geometry trigonal bipyramidal geometry so the structure of penta carbonyl ferrum or iron complex iron 3 complex will be represented as co and here is co so remember you how to mention capital c and capital o in this condition co and co where it is co the means this is trigonal bipyramidal geometry or structure executed by penta carbonyl iron 3 complex where in one more example of metal carbonyl chromium in which it is connected to six carbonyl species so hexa carbonyl chromium 3 complex will exhibit octahedral geometry octahedral geometry so let us consider the structure of this compound as chromium it is connected to co 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 and here is co the total six carbonyl skeletons are present spatially arranged around the chromium atom in octahedral manner similarly let us consider few more examples of 
एम एन टू सी ओ टेन कॉम्प्लेक्स एम एन टू सी ओ टेन कॉम्प्लेक्स समटाइम्स द रिजल्टिंग कार्बोनेल्स आल्सो डू नॉट शो एनी पॉजिटिव ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट्स हियर एम एन टू सी ओ टेक एन टेन कॉम्प्लेक्स इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू मोनोमर्स एज एम एन सी ओ फाइव the two units of mn co5 mixed together to results as the formation of mn2 co10 in which around the each manganese atom the square planar geometry exhibited by the compound square planar geometry so we can represent it as co co CO, CO. Here is CO, 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 and here is also one more carbon monoxide. So let us identify each manganese connected with five carbonyls, and in this compound a manganese manganese bond is also metal metal bond is also identified so these are the some examples for metal carbonyls and their related geometries come to the bonding nature of metal carbonyl that means the nature of bond present in between metal atom and carbonyl ligand is present as metal inside of the metal the carbon atom is going to donate its non bonding pair of electron here while carbon monoxide or carbonyl species wants to form coordination covalent bond with metal here generally the metal atoms are with non bonding pair of electrons towards the non bonding pair of electrons these are going to shift here similarly while the carbon of carbonyl species is going to donate its non bonding pair of electrons towards the empty orbital of metal it is going to form sigma bond whereas in special case the filled orbitals of metal they are going to donate their non bonding or their paired electron towards the empty orbitals of same carbon and forms pi bond that means in metal carbonyls in metal carbonyls metal and carbon have sigma character the bond will have sigma character and pi character sigma character and pi character identified to be present with metal carbonyls so this is bonding in metal carbonyls once again only one type of ligands are present in this type of coordination complexes that is carbonyl co so these co species are going to bind with different types of transition metals to produce wide variety of metal carbonyls and next concept is stability of stability of metal complexes or coordination complexes stability of coordination complexes or coordination compounds here during the preparation of coordination compounds in its liquid state the metal ions or metal atoms are added with ligands during this there is the formation of equilibrium takes place between m l gives rise to m l that means metal atoms reacts with ligands to produce ml complexes are simultaneously takes place in the reverse manner that means in solution state there is 
existence of equilibrium between metal met concentration of metals and concentration of ligands with metal complexes here for example i would like to consider a metal complex which is consist of ml4 formula or which consist of ml4 formula we can represent it as m in the first step the metal is going to react with ligand and produces ml complex similarly in the second step in the same solution state the formed ml complex reacts with one more ligand to produce ml2 complex similarly in the next step the formed ml2 complex in second step is going to bind with one more ligand to produce ml3 com complex now the finally the produced ml3 complex is going to react with one more ligand finally yields us the formation of ml4 type of coordination complex now in each step the stability constants are indicated with k1 for first step k2 for second step k3 for third step k4 for fourth step so k1 is equals to as we know concentration of products by concentration of reactants that is it will equals to concentration of ml by concentration of metal ion into concentration of ligand similarly the k2 is equals to in case of k2 these are the products concentration of products by concentration of reactants ml into l in case of third step k3 is equals to in this k3 this is the product once again we can represent ml3 concentration of products by concentration of reactants similarly for k4 we can write concentration of reactant that is ml4 by concentration of products ml3 into l concentration of ligands so this is step wise stability constants k1 k2 k3 k4 are called as stepwise stability constant which helps us to promote our idea for the formation or stability of ml4 overall overall reaction will be represented as m plus l gives rise to ml4 for this we can write overall stability constant i would like to consider it as beta overall stability constant is equals to concentration of the formed metal complex ml4 by concentration of metal into concentration of ligands or also beta is called as overall stability constant overall stability constant overall stability constant whereas k1 k2 k3 k4 are called as step wise stability constants step wise stability constants now come to we can calculate overall stability constant from stepwise stability constant as k1 is k1 into k2 into k3 into k4 in case of ml4 complex but in case of mln complexes the overall stability constant beta is equals to k1 into k2 into k3 into infinity into kn so this equation is useful to derive overall stability constant from stepwise stability constant and remember in the formed coordination compounds the instability factor or dissociation factor is a reciprocal of stability constant so once again the dissociation factor or instability factor is a reciprocal of overall stability constant so this is stability of coordination compounds after the concept of stability of coordination compounds 